Hey, welcome to Psychology. This is Chapter 17, Stress and Health. In Section 1, Understanding Stress. Stress is an arousal of one's mind and body in response to the ma demands made upon them. Sources of stress include frustration, daily hassles, and life changes. Different types of conflict contribute to stress. Some people create their own stress through their personality type. So this section, our main idea is many different situations and events can produce both good and bad stress. Some personality types may even create their own stress. So what are two different kinds of stress? What are the main sources of stress? And why do conflict cause stress? How does personality type affect stress? In physics, stress is defined as pressure or a force. In the psychology, stress is the arousal of one's mind and body in response to the demands made upon them. Eustress is positive stress and it increases sharpness and motivation and can keep people alert and involved. A sign that a person is taking on a challenge to reach a goal. Distress is a negative stress linked to intense pressure and anxiety and can strain people's ability to adjust various situations and can dampen mood and impair ability and harm the body. A stressor is an event situation that produces stress. What is a stressor for one person might not be enough for another. Some stresses are, are common to most people. Frustration, being blocked from attaining a goal, such as being late for an appointment or lacking money. Many frustrations are minor, but more serious ones can be extremely stressful. Daily hassles, everyday frustrations, household health, time pressure, inner concern, environmental, financial work, future and security. Life changes, major events such as moving serious illness or a death, many life changes are positive and tend to happen less often. Some of them are on the rating scale. These are what's considered the worst stressors, the death of a spouse, the divorce, marital separation, a jail term, death of close family member, personal injury or illness, marriage, fired at work, mental uh, marital reconciliation, and retirement. These are the top 10 things that are stressful for readjustment. Approach, approach conflict is uh, the least stressful uh, types, each of the choices are positive, usually resolved by making a decision. Avoidance avoidance conflict is more stressful, neither choice is positive, and resolved by making a decision. Approach avoidance conflict occurs when choice has both positive and negative aspects. Multiple approach avoidance conflict is most complex each of several alternative courses of action has its advantages and disadvantages. Approach-approach avoidance is a choice between two equally attractive alternatives. Choosing between cake and ice cream for dessert or ice cream. Avoidance-avoidance um, conflict. Uh, a choice between two equally unattractive alternatives going to the dentist or letting the toothache get worse. Approach avoidance, a choice of whether or not to do something when a part of the situation is attractive, but the other is not. Deciding whether to buy a new DVD player that would cost a lot of money. Multiple approach avoidance, a choice between alternatives that have both good and bad aspects Describing whether to stay at home to study for a test or go out to the movies with friends. Personality types. Some people create their own uh, stress. Two basic personality types are type A, who are intense people, and type B, who tend to be laid back. Type A, people are always on the go and put pressure on themselves. 
type people people are more relaxed and patient and do not become angry and easily as type type a people usually achieve more than type b people but their success comes at a price of heightened stress section two stress responses and effects maintaining a positive attitude and sense of humor are among the ways that people can reduce the effects of stress stressful situations produce the three stages of general adaption syndrome chronic stress can suppress the activity of the body's immune system so the main idea of this section is that people respond to stress in different ways, but stress situations produce small, similar responses in the body. Stress, especially chronic stress, can even uh, compromise the body's immune system. So what factors influence the response to stress? What is the general adaption syndrome? And how does stress affect the immune system? People with different personalities respond to stress in different ways. The stress of an event depends largely on what the event means to the person involved. Biology also accounts for differences in people's responses to, re to stress. Beliefs in people have that they can accomplish goals that they set for themselves. That's self-efficacy of expectations. Closely related to, to self-confidence is self confident person likely to keep cool under pressure so these are all methods of self-efficacy psychological hardiness is people with certain traits can withstand stress uh, commitment is stress as motivation and that comes in for like uh, a comp a sports competition the, st the stress of the event coming up causes you to make sure you go to practice or some, or that a test uh, coming up uh, reminds you that the, the stress is important for you to study. Challenge, they prefer change. Uh, control, feelings are being in control of their lives. So these are uh, different, the psychological hardiness scale of the, how well you're handling stress. Sense of humor. Students who had a sense of humor and saw humor in a difficult situation experienced less stress than students who were not able to find humor in the same situations. Some research suggests that the emotional responses may aid the immune system. Predictability is having the ability to predict a stressor seems to reduce the amount of stress it causes. Social support is the presence of interest of other people provides support to help people cope with stress. Ways to help express concerns provide, provide physical relief, offer information, and provide feedback and socialization. Hans Selye observed the different stressful situations each produce similar responses by the body. The general adaption syndrome, known as GAS, has three stages. The alarmed reaction it's, is initiated when the stressor is perceived, sometimes described as the fight or flight reaction. Certain hormones are released within the body that prepare the body for stress and the resistance to stress. And if the stressor is not removed, people tr try to find a way to cope and to avoid being overwhelmed. The exhaustion stage, if the stressor is not removed, hormones are depleted, Muscles are worn out, and heart and breathing rates slow down. Fight or flight reaction. An alarm reaction that mobilizes the body for defensive action when a person first perceives a stressor. Characteristics are air passages widen to allow more intake, hair stands on end, and the level of blood sugar increases the heart rate and muscles tighten up, the blood pressure rises, senses sharpen and become more alert, and steroids and adrenaline are secreted. The effects is the blood flows from the surface areas to the major muscle groups, flooding with the energy, the body receives a burst of energy, person is ready to fight, confront the stressor, or take flight and run away. The immune system. Most people are exposed to a great variety of disease-causing organisms, but an intact immune system fights off most of them. 
white blood cells destroy disease-causing microorganisms, worn out body cells, and malignant cells. The immune system remembers some invaders and maintains antibodies to fight them often for years. Stress in the immune system. One reason stress exhausts people is that it stimulates the body to produce steroids, which suppress the immune system. One study showed lower immune system functioning during more stressful periods. Another study showed the training and coping skills improve the functioning of the immune system. Section 3, Psychological Factors in Health. Both biological and psychological factors play important roles in health programs. Headaches are among the most common stress-related health problems. People can make behavioral changes to help reduce the risks of heart disease. People with cancer must cope with biological aspects of their illness, as well as psychological effects. So the main idea here is both biological and psychological factors play an important role in medical problems, including headaches, heart disease, and cancer. How do biological and psychological factors affect health? What are most common types of headaches? And what factors contribute to heart disease? And how is cancer linked to stress? These are the questions you should be able to answer upon completion of this section. Biological factors such as family history of a disease, exposure to disease, and cause, causing microisms, inoculations against certain diseases, accidents, injuries, and age it, uh, play an important role in physical illness. Psychological factors in illness also affect health problems. Attitudes, patterns of behavior, anxiety, and depression. Health psychology is concerned with the relationship between the psychological fa factors and the prevention of treatment and physical illness. Among the most common stress-related health problems are types of headaches, uh, are headaches and types of headaches. The most frequent was the muscle tension, dull, steady pain of both sides of the head. The second most common is the migraine headache, which is sudden onset of severe throbbing on one side of the head. They affect about 10% of Americans. Type A people are more affected by migraines than type B people. The treatment is aspirin or acetaminophen, Prescription drugs are used to fight a headache pain. Different medicines work in different ways. Changing behaviors is also helpful, as is progressive relaxation and biofeedback training to help relieve the pain. Herbal alternative medicine, herbal remedies, plant extracts use medicine. Popular remedies include ginseng to increase en energy, ginkgo, uh, to improve memory, and, and but they're not regulated by the Food and Drug Administration. Acupuncture is an ancient Chinese pr medical procedure involving the inserting of hair, thin, tiny needles in the sc skin, shown on the right. <coughs> they're used to uh, ease post-surgery pain, as well as pain of arthritis, backache, headache, and asthma usually safe when applied by licensed practitioners. Reflexology is massage technique usually applied to feet and hands, areas of supposed to correspond to the other areas of the body, pressure and believed to reduce stress and improve health. Risk factors. Nearly half of the U.S. deaths are caused by heart disease that causes family history, genetics, physical conditions, patterns of consumption, type A behavior, anger, and hostility, job strain, and lack of exercise. Behavioral changes that are necessary to prevent heart disease are various medical treatments that exist, but certain behavioral changes can reduce the risk. Quit smoking, control your weight, reduce hypertension, lower serum cholesterol levels, and cha change type A behavior patterns. Start exercising regularly. Personality type and cardiac risk. 
Type D is a personality type that is prone, prone to distress. D stands for distressed. <clears throat> Characteristic is their emotional profile. Is they're angry, hostile, worried, depressed, gloomy. Uh, they're all in their psychological profile. They tend to have a negative view of the self. They suppress their feelings. They have a pessimistic outlook. They, they overreact to stressful fish, situations. They're lonely and they're isolated. Their cardiac risk is their greater risk of dying once heart disease develops, about four times more likely than non-personality D types to suffer a second heart attack. Now, when it comes to cancer, cancer involves the rapid growth of malignant spells. Individuals whose immune systems are weakened appear to be more likely for getting cancer. Risk factors are people may inherit a tendency to develop certain kinds of cancer. Certain behaviors increase your risk. Stress may be a risk factor. Psychological aspects, cancer patients must cope with weakness, pain, and medicine. They may face anxiety, fear, depression, and vulnerability. To fight cancer, you have to have a positive attitude. One study found significantly higher survival rate among women who met their cancer diagnosis with a fighting spirit. Social support increases the su survival rate. Now, let's talk about section four, ways of coping with stress. Defense coping methods as means of handling stress are self-defeating and usually harmful. Effective active coping methods for dealing with stress include changing thoughts, relaxing, and exercising. So the main idea of this section is people handle stress using both defensive and active coping methods. Defensive coping methods are often self-defeating, while active coping methods are far more, far more effective. So our reading focus for this section are what are some of the defensive coping methods how do active coping methods help ease stress? So defensive coping is a way to handle stress and reduce immediate effects, but not, but not the most desirable way. It may involve socially unacceptable behavior. It does not eliminate the source of the stress. Substance abuse is a defensive coping strategy. People may become psychologically dependent on these substances in an effort to decrease, decrease their awareness of stress or disguise an unpleasant reality. So this might be uh, is frequently uh, alcohol, uh, but smoking is another one. Aggression, using violence to cope with stressful situations rarely, if ever, provides a solution to the problem. And it may actually heighten the problem like uh, punching the wall or grabbing the guy or something like that. Uh, withdrawal can be an emotional or physical withdrawal. So a lot of people defensively will cope by withdrawing from the situation because they don't want to deal with it, uh, especially interpersonal relations and uh, financial relationships. This is often the case, and what happens is uh, uh, the problem just continues. Conti cont continues. Defense mechanisms protect the ego from anxiety produced by awareness of unacceptable ideas or impulses. They become problematic when they are only coping mechanisms a person has. So, this chart identifies and provides examples of, of some common defense mechanisms. Denial is the refusal to accept the reality of something that is bad or upsetting. An overworked employee is unwilling to admit that feeling stressed by his job out of fear of appearing weak or incompetent. So this is one of the problems we see with soldiers, uh, that uh, oftentimes they're afraid to seek mental health help because uh, it, that's admitting weakness. Uh, repression is the removal of anxiety causing ideas from conscious awareness by pushing them into the unconscious. A soldier squashes his feelings of anxiety about going into combat 
Projection is the attribution of undesirable impulse, thought, or feeling to other people. An angry student frustrated by a discussion in class, unable to think of himself as angry, accuses his classmates of behaving angrily. Active coping. Active coping involves changing the uh, environment or the situation in socially acceptable ways to remove stressors or changing one's response to stress so that the stressors are no longer harmful. So what they do is change stressful thoughts. People who have stressful thoughts can learn to recognize and change them before becoming overwhelmed by them. Relaxation techniques. A number of techniques for reducing the bodily reactions to stress are meditation, biofeedback, progressive relaxation. Exercise fosters physical health and enhances people's psychological well-being and help people cope with stress. Breathing. Practicing controlled breathing can reduce stress. Coping with catastrophe. Even though the tragedy of September 11, 2001 was mostly affected those who lost family and friends, people who only witnessed the attacks on television Television suffered the psychologist called second-hand stress. Many people who witnessed the terrorist attacks on television suffered symptoms similar to post-traumatic stress disorder. Similar reactions occurred after Hurricane Katrina in 2005. Watching scenes on television can cause the biological fight-or-flight reaction. Some scientists suggest that taking a break from the news to alleviate systems others say this is a form of denial. One study found that those who donated blood or money felt less helpless. Disasters can bring a nation together when their shared response is to the reach out to help the victims. This concludes our discussion on chapter 17 um, on stress and health.